please, <clears throat> sorry, uh, lost my voice, but please answer it to me in the comment section. How do you keep out a 12 and one SEC champion who beat a team who hasn't lost in two years, 29 games? Genuine question, how do you keep them out? What do you think about that, Dwight? Man, I just like put us in. That's what I got. Right, what would you say? What would you say, Dwight? I said put us in. <laughs> what? Well, no, let me ask you a question. Why do we deserve to be in? Uh, because we just beat the number one team. <laughs> hey, I agree. <laughs> oh, right there. Let's oh, go. My. Dude, I predicted us to win, but I still can't believe. Dude, what a year. What do I? What about that, man? We almost lost to USF. Hey, who does see Nick Saban the baddest coach in America? <laughs> yes, sir. I agree. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at Milro. Who does see He's not satisfied. He won't take. He won't take. We beat the number one. Ain't, they haven't lost in 29 games. You know, if they would have won, that would have been the new streak. Dude, and Jalen Milro is such a good, like, Christian dude, man. And he deserves it. Well, no, I don't think he deserves anything in life. Roll it down. <laughs> Put oh, us in. Oh, my gosh. It depends how Florida State looks. I'm going to be honest. All right, let me give you my honest perspective. If Florida State beats Louisville by 40, I would be concerned. But to me, now this is my this is my unbiased opinion. If Florida State has a backup quarterback, how are you going to tell me they're better than Mil Neil? Neil just single-handedly beat Georgia. We ran for a hundred yards. I know. I'm just how. If we don't get in, the committee is not. They're nerves. I know, but if Florida State beats them, even if it's by twenty, if it's by three. And, well, here's my thing with this game. It wasn't even like a fluke. Like, we just went, we just beat them. Well, maybe y'all heard some of that. Maybe I'll throw it in. I don't know. I got to turn this TV down. All right, there we go. I don't even have the camera position correctly, but I do not care. You know why I am here? I, and if I lose my uh, voice in this video, I apologize. I was watching the game with my brother, one of my buddies. And we were screaming, man. I was... I was screaming and <laughs> oh wait, I gotta fix this light. Hold on, <laughs> I'm off west. I don't even have the lights fixed. I gotta turn the light on. Matt, what are you doing, buddy? Sorry. Okay, now y'all can see me a little bit better. <sighs> we did it. I made a video last night. I'll pop it up on the screen right here. Matter of fact, I said George is in trouble. Why did I say they're in trouble? Because I stated. They haven't faced a quarterback like Jalen Milrow all year long. And everybody in that comment section, I looked at it. I kept my receipts, like Dion says. I'd say 80% of the people said, Matt, you're stupid. You're delusional. You're predicting Alabama to beat Georgia again like you did two years ago. It ain't going to happen. That was a fluke. You had Bryce Young. I tried to warn you, okay? I tried to warn you. Jalen Milrow is that guy. Without being too cringy here, it's no longer a fluke. When are people going to give Jalen Milrow his flowers? The dude can play. He's one of the best players in the country. I don't think he should win the Heisman, but he should definitely get an invite. He has single-handedly carried this Alabama team to a championship this year. And I'll just pull up. I'm not even going to use the whiteboard. I'm not even going to use it. But off the top of my head, I believe in this game, Alabama only had about 100 rushing yards outside of Milrow. I got to pull it up. How many rushing yards? As a team, we had, yeah. We had 114 rushing yards, and Milrow had 30 of those, technically 29. Through the air, I want y'all to look at this. No, I mean, y'all can't see it, but Jalen Milrow finished 13 for 23, a buck 92, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Key stat, you know what? This is important. This is a big video. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm losing my voice because I was screaming, man. I can't tell you how proud I am of this team. This is a life lesson, this win against Georgia. Look at how bad we look against Texas and USF. And this team showed nothing but resiliency. Life lesson, man. Everything can be pinned against you. Everything can be going the wrong way. And 
It's all about how you respond. In this life, it's not about what happens to you, it's how you respond. Can't say enough good things about this team, man. I can't, I could sit up here for 40 minutes and tell you how proud I am of my team. But y'all know I'm proud of my team. I'm an Alabama fan. Look at this stat line for Milrow, man. 13 for 23, but 92, two touchdowns, but here's the key. And it's the only thing I'm gonna write down. Zero INTs, draw arrows to it, do whatever you want, and zero turnovers. And he sealed the game with his legs at the end. I'm gonna clap it up, I'm done with the whiteboard. I'm done, okay? This was a great game, and I wanna say much love and respect to Georgia. I love the Georgia fan base, Dog Nation. Shout out to y'all, y'all shown so much support to the channel over the many years. And I know a lot of people don't like Georgia fans, but me personally, I don't have a problem with them. And I'll be honest with y'all, this is a controversial take. And trust me, we'll talk about this maybe later tonight or tomorrow, but I think Georgia is still a top four team. Hey, I, 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 I know everybody's about to freak out in the comment section. Matt, what are you talking about? You can't tell me Georgia's not a top four team. They beat the crap out of everybody this year. They beat the absolute crap out of everybody this year. They're a top four team, okay? They played a heck of a game. And this, man, I'm looking at the stats right here, guys. Georgia, 19 first downs. Alabama, 20. Alabama, 306 total yards. Georgia, 321. This was an even matchup. Two of the best teams in the country going head-to-head. -head. And if you ask me, I think this was a national championship game. I know a lot of people ain't going to like that I say that, but the SEC championship every single year is a national championship game for the most part. Whoever wins the SEC, they go on to win the ship. It's as plain and as simple as that. I think Georgia still belongs in this playoff, but this is not a playoff video. This is my immediate reaction to this game. And I, I think it's relatively simple. It was two even teams, and it came down to this. And I said this in the preview video, the margin of error in college football, SEC football, two top teams playing, is razor thin. And guess what? Alabama made more big-time plays than Georgia in this game. They did. They had that fourth and four. I know it was a controversial catch, whatever. I know everybody's going to talk about that. I personally thought it was a catch. And even if it went to replay, they probably wouldn't have overturned it, okay? That was a big play. That was on fourth down. Alabama got seven there. And then, I guess you'd say arguably the two biggest plays is, number one, Georgia missed a field goal, right? And then Alabama got the fumble recovery that resulted in a field goal, okay? And Georgia wound up losing by three. So the only separation in this game really was Georgia fumbled and missed a field goal, whereas Alabama did not miss a field goal. Big time plays, man. Those were huge plays, and that's really it. As they're showing the celebratory. Woo! You got Nick Saban. I'm just, guys, I'm proud of this team. I could sit up here all day and tell you how proud I am, but I think you guys know this. Yep, and like Nick Saban just said right here, he said, these guys, this is what you call a team. I'm going to show you one more time, man. Greatest of all time, by the way, that's the GOAT. <laughs> How do you keep the GOAT out of the playoffs? 12-1. and one. We earned it. We beat the number one team in the nation. Number one team. And it wasn't on a fluke play or anything. We just straight up beat them. Listening to Nick Saban's speech right here, and he's right. Same thing I said. We just overcame adversity, and, man. I predicted us to win, but it is still extremely hard for me to believe we pulled this off. Just because, I don't know, it's just seeing it happen. It's just a different feeling. I'm going to end off this video with this one question for you. Please. <clears throat> Sorry, I uh, lost my voice, but please answer it to me in the comment section. How do you keep out a 12 and 1 SEC champion who beat? A team who hasn't lost in two years. 29 games. Genuine question. How do you keep them out? I know we got a bunch of Alabama haters. But at the end of the day, you got to respect greatness. And this team, they're great. They're great. I tried warning people. I tried warning people. I may get up here and talk later tonight. I'll probably see you after the Florida State game because obviously that's a big time game for us Alabama fans. But try warning people, Alabama Nick Saban has Georgia number. It seems like every single year Georgia has a better team and they probably should have won the game, but somehow, some way, Alabama wins it. It happened yet again. Sure, you won the championship, but 
Outside of that, Alabama always wins these close games. I'm going to go celebrate this win. What a filet mignon. Let me know your thoughts down below about that.